so I totally forgot to do an intro to this video. I was so focused on my workout that day. So we are just going to get started. Here we are doing a complete leg workout. Uh, we are going to start with the adductor machine. And just a few tips here. I want you to concentrate on squeezing the glutes the entire movement. And also, if you notice my feet, my heels are actually in that pocket instead of resting um, flat on that, I guess, where your feet go. I don't know the name for it. Um, this was my first set, so I'm my warming up with a lighter um, weight so I just urge you to keep increasing the set so you keep challenging yourself. From here I did a superset with the abductor machine and here if you notice I'm sitting on the edge of the seat and again my feet are in those pockets or my heels are in those pockets excuse me and again you really want to make sure that the weight you're using is challenging enough and you're just not sitting there and just opening and closing your legs. You want to make sure that you feel it right in your piriformis, which is like the center of that glute. And um, as you guys can see, I did four sets of 25 of these. From there, I went ahead and did the leg extensions. And again, I did four sets of 25 here. So the weight was not light, but not heavy as well. It's It was still challenging for me uh, to do those 25 reps. Um, they were burning by, you know, 18, maybe even 15. And... Um, uh, what I want you to do is make sure on every rep you squeeze your quads at the end of the movement uh, just so that you get the full um, full extension and you get the burn in those quads. Again, you are doing uh, four sets of 25 here, so you want to pick a weight that's not too heavy but not too light. From here, we went on to the lying leg curl, and uh, we did four sets of 15 here. And just my tips here, you want to keep your uh, feet relaxed so that you're not um, pulling the weight with your calves and also try to not swing. Some people lay down but they are clenching so hard to those handles that they, their back will swing to try to help the weight up. If you can't get a lot of weight, um, decrease that weight so you get the full benefit of the movement that you're performing. Here we moved on to walking lunges and this was four sets of 15. <laughs> if you notice my face, I was struggling here just because uh, my muscles were super tight and I just felt like my hamstrings were going to pop with every uh, lunge. But you can do this with a dumbbell or kettlebells or even just a barbell, uh, whatever works best for you. And some tips is when you lunge, I want you to push up that front heel. Also, if you lean forward a little bit so your chest above your knee that would help activate the glute a little bit more so um, yeah next time you, you do lunges uh, try to uh, lean forward a little bit so your chest is above your knee and push through that front heel from here I was supposed to do barbell squats but the squat racks were all taken so I'm going to show you how to do these low cable squats you want to grab one of those belts and um, just clasp it in take the end of the clasp and you want to put that into one of the little metal holes here. From there, you're going to attach this <laughs> to the cable. And all you're going to do is put it at a weight that is challenging enough for you and come up. And from here, you're going to do just a regular squat. You're going to squat down, keeping um, your chest nice and tall and pushing through those heels on the way up. So you see my toes are slightly pointed out and on the way up, I'm pushing through my heels and even pushing my knees out a little bit to activate that glute. So this is actually a really good um, different type of squat if the squat racks are taken. This is actually one of my favorite uh, squat movements. And obviously you can go pretty heavy here. I think I was working with like, I don't know, 95 pounds on here, but you can go heavier. From there, we did, um, I was supposed to do a single leg deadlift on the Smith machine, but that was also taken because the squats racks were taken. So this is something I used to do back in New York with a lot of my clients, and this is a single leg cable deadlift. So if you notice, the cable is at the bottom of the machine, and it's uh, opposite arm, opposite leg. Some tips on this, you want to pretty much pick a focal point, so pick a spot and and just stare at that the entire time so you don't lose your balance. You can put your hand on your hip or out like I have it. I just find that for me, it works better if my hand is out. Now, you also just want to control this movement throughout down. Really feel that stretch in your hamstring in the down position. This is just a progression for the deadlift. 
um, kind of change it up a little bit and I feel like I hit my uh, hamstrings a little bit more with this movement. From the deadlifts we moved on to the leg press and here we do four sets of 15 and I had to go light uh, today just because like I said earlier I just felt like my hamstrings were about to snap at any moment so I kept the weight a little bit lighter and just uh, kept the movements a little quicker. Uh, you can do it on this deadlift, on this, I'm sorry, on this leg press machine or on the standard leg press machine. And then lastly, from there, we moved on to the seated calf machine. And here you can go fairly heavy and just make sure that you are stretching that calf in that position, in the rest position. And then when you um, contract the muscle, you really squeeze it so you feel the entire movement working. I did not film an outro, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.